Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. It's Hunter's Point here with another video as I'm recording here on my back deck. Um, as you can see, we've been hit by Winter Storm Jacob. You know, I live here in the, in the Midwest region. I actually live about an hour or so outside of the Kansas City metro. But, you know, as you can hear, it's still coming down in the form of freezing rain, starting to transition a little bit more into sleet. But, yeah, we've been hit by Winter Storm Jacob. And I just feel that the Lord's given me a message here. You know, think about it. Uh, specifically the Midwest region, we've been hit by three really big winter storms so far this winter. Uh, winter storms Ezekiel, uh, winter storm Isaiah, which was just about a week, a week and a half or so ago, and then now winter storm Jacob has been buried down on us the past day and a half, two days. And you know, I, I find it really interesting that it's been essentially this trifecta of uh, severe winter storms. This one, it's tended to be a little bit more on the side of like um, freezing rain, sleet, um, light snow, whereas Isaiah and Ezekiel were both more uh, snow events. But just find it interesting that, um, and I apologize for the shaky camera, it is a bit cold outside, but you know, it, it, it's funny how God will use like these, you know, correlations, right? There's been three of these winter storms that have hit us in the Midwest, right? Ezekiel, Jacob, and, uh, and Isaiah was the one last week. And then you look at the trifecta of hurricanes, severe hurricanes that hit the United States and Puerto Rico back in 2017, right? You had Hurricane Harvey, uh, Hurricane Maria, and Hurricane Irma. You know, it's tended to be the number three when it comes to various natural disasters. But, you know, I believe that God's using these. You know, winter, whether it's a winter storm or earthquakes or tornadoes or severe thunderstorms or tsunamis, he's using these as a form of judgment to an unbelieving world and then to those who may have been weary in their belief. This is, a, this is God telling us to wake up, to be prepared, and to look up for our redemption draweth nigh. So, you know, just make sure that you're keeping an eye on these natural disasters on top of all of the other things going on in the world right now, you know, uh, that, that of course relates to Bible prophecy. But, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of what's going on here. Winter Storm Jacob is still kind of bearing down. Um, hopefully you could see some of this ice here. It's just beautiful what God can do because God is in control of the weather and, you know, Obviously, it can be devastating to human lives and property, but you know, at the same time, it's beautiful. It just shows us what God's capable of. So, uh, I hope this was a blessing to you, this video, and I'll leave it with the gospel as always. The gospel, which is how you're saved by believing it, is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and on the third day, he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures. Um, that If you believe that, you are saved. How? Well, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says that it's by grace through faith and not of works. That's what it says. Ephesians 2, 8, 8 and 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So my advice to you if you're a non-believer, right, the ABCs of salvation, admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior, right? I mean, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So, you know, believe that Jesus is Lord. The nanosecond you believe, you are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. It's Ephesians 4.30. And call upon his name. Ultimately, at the end of the day, all you need to do to become saved, to become born again in the Spirit, is to believe that gospel. Which is 1 Corinthians 15.1-4. So again, I hope this was a blessing to you. I'll see you all in the next video, should the Lord tarry. Otherwise, God bless.